Welcome back to Hippie Needle HQ and this week I am making an overall for wearing during my dyeing workshops and when I'm around my studio to keep my clothes protected. If you want to see how I did it, stick around for the next few minutes. I found a pattern that's something like what I'm looking for and a piece of green linen that I bought specifically for this project about two years ago. Gathered together the other bits and pieces that I needed, some good dressmaking scissors, thread, pins, tape measure and some bias binding and I'm good to go. I don't want you to think of this as an instructional video because my dressmaking skills are basic at best but the instructions seem reasonably easy to follow so I'm just going to dive in and hope you enjoy watching my progress. First order of business is to cut out all the pattern pieces to the size you want and pin them to your fabric. I'm going for a size up than I normally would because I want to wear this over the top of my clothes. Then it's time to carefully cut the fabric out and press all the pieces. This pattern has two pieces for the body, a front and a back, two ties and two pockets. This is my sewing machine. It's a distant relative of my washing machine, by which I mean it has about a million functions and I only know how to use about two or three of them. First instruction says to stay stitch around the neck. I think this is to help it keep its shape. And then it's onto the pockets. Pockets have a little pleat in the front and a band that fixes onto the top. A little bit carried away sewing the ties. I think I've got a much neater job if I'd taken more time and care with the sewing. Time to attach the pockets now and I'm pinning them in place. Right about here I noticed a slight flaw in the fabric and so I reposition the pocket to cover that up. Alright, I've got the pockets and the side ties attached now, so it's time to join the shoulder seams. The instructions say to trim the seam and then press it open, then reinforce the seam with bias binding. When you realise you've assembled the whole thing inside out, you're going to want to unpick all of this and redo it. The neck opening also has bias binding around it, so I'm pinning this in place. I'm still not entirely sure if I did this part completely according to the instructions, but it looks alright. Trim the curved seams just so it lies nice and flat. Folding and pinning. And then just stitching around the top of the neck opening.
The armholes are done the same way. And then it's time for the side seams. I pinned the sides together and then I had to go and Google what French seams were. They were a lot more straightforward than they sounded. So I tacked the hem in place, pressed the entire garment, and then I decided to take the hem up by hand. I thought this would be a much neater finish than the bias binding method that was described in the instructions. There's the finished thing. Sorry, the light's getting a bit poor now, but you can see how it looks when it's done. Just missing something though. finishes it off just nicely. Um, I'm pleased with it overall and uh, the handy sandwich compartments were an excellent idea. Um, yeah, simple enough project. I managed to finish it in a day so I think if you knew what you were doing you'd be able to sew it probably in just a couple of hours. Um, if you have felt inspired to have a go at some sewing and you'd like to let me know in the comments that would be great. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more from me don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye for now. I need help. I need an adult.